Hello students, welcome back to your online classes. My name is Sabita Sharma and I am your economics teacher. Today, chapter number 7, Difficulties in Measurement of National Income. Difficulties in the Measurement of National Income. Difficulties are divided into two parts. Theoretical difficulties, which is also known as conceptual difficulties. Number second, practical difficulties, which is known as statistical difficulties. So first I am taking theoretical difficulties. Theoretical difficulties. Number one, transfer payment. Remember, transfer payment is not included in the national income because it is a one-sided payment. According to your book, Individual get pension, unemployment allowances, etc. But whether these transfer payments should be included in the national income or not, it is a major problem. On one hand, they are the part of individual income. But on the other hand, they are part of government expenditure. Hence, these transfer payments are not included in the national income. Number second, illegal income. As everyone know that, this income is not accounted anywhere. That's why it is not included in the national income. So, illegal income. Illegal income like gambling, black marketing, theft, smuggling, etc. Not included in the national income. Unpaid services. Very important and very ex easy example I am giving. Your mothers are working morning till night but these services are unpaid so these kind of services are not included in the national income because we can't measure the value of the mummy or a papa so that's why the value or the work which is done by our mother or a father is not included in the national income so it is a unpaid services so for the purpose of calculating national income only paid goods and services are considered. However, there are number of unpaid services which are not counted for the calculation of national income. For example, services of housewives and service provided out of love, affection, mercy, sympathy, charity, etc. are not included in the national income. Number four, production for self-consumption. For example, if I am producing any commodity for consuming, I am not selling in the market. So, how can I know the value of that commodity? So, for the self-consumption, whatever commodity I have, that is not included in the national income. The production kept for self-consumption by the farmers and other allied producers do not enter the market. Hence, it is not accounted for the national income. Income form, income of foreign firms according to international monetary firm. Income of foreign firm should be included in the national income of the country where the firm actually undertake the production work. Yes, only the production work if a firm producing anything, it means it is countable. So, the income of the foreign firm is included in the national income. Valuation of government services. Government provides a number of public services such as law and order, defense, public administration, education, we teachers, health services, doctors, etc. The calculation of these services at market price is very difficult as the real value of these services is not known. Therefore, it is difficult to calculate national income. Number seven, changing price level. Every time there is a fluctuation in the price level. So, it's very difficult to calculate national income. So, difficulties in calculating national income also arise due to changes in price level. For example, when price level rise, national income may show an increase. Even though the production may have decreased, when the price level falls, the national income may show a decrease, even though there may be an increase in the production. So, here is the difficulties in measuring the national income. 
we have completed theoretical now we are with the practical one second practical difficulties or statistical difficulties number 1 problem of double counting as i gave one example while calculating shirt we should not include the value of thread but sometime we include the value of thread cotton so many problem arises because the value of cotton also we are taking value of uh, uh, thread also we are taking and value of shirt also we are taking so there is lot of problem of double counting the practical problem we are facing here in your book the greatest difficulties in calculating national income is double counting it arises from the failure of distinguish properly between the final goods and the intermediate product for example flour used by a bakery is an intermediate product but that by a household is a final product so it's very difficult for us that we have to measure which one we have to take flour or we have to take a bread number second existence of non monetized sector in our economy still we have many sector which is non monetized without money people are working especially in the rural area there are existence of non monetized sector agriculture still being in the nature of subsistence farming a major part of production is partially exchanged for other goods and services it is excluded while counting national income in adequate and unreliable data in india or in a developing country we can say the data is not properly kept we have adequate and correct data on production and cost related data related to crop fisheries animal husbandry forestry construction workers small enterprises etc are not available in developing country beside these data on unearned income consumption and investment expenditure of rural and urban area population are also not available so this does not reveal the actual size of national income of our country depreciation how can we know the actual value of depreciation is totally depend on the use of your product because what is depreciation it refers to the wear and tear of the capital assets and it's totally depend on the use of that product particular product so on which standard we have to reduce depreciation so in your book they have given depreciation refers to wear and tear of capital assets and due to their use in the process of production there are no uniform common or accepted standard rates of depreciation applicable to various capital assets thus it's difficult to make correct deduction for depreciation number 5 capital gains or capital losses capital gains or capital losses which occurs to the property owner by increase or decrease in the market value of their capital assets or change in demand are not included in the national income because these changes do not result from current economic activities number 6 illiteracy and ignorance especially in the developing country due to ignorance and illiteracy small producer do not kept an account for their production so they cannot give information about their quantity or value of their output so it's difficult to measure the national income number 7 difficulties in the classification of working population in india working population is not clearly defined for instance farmer in india are not engaged in agriculture round the year obviously in off season they engage themselves in alternative occupation in such case it's difficult to identify their income from a particular occupation 
so that's why it's difficult to measure the national income valuation of inventories like raw material intermediate goods semi finished goods finished product in the stock of the producer are known as inventories any mistake in measuring the value of inventories will disorder the value of final product of the producer therefore valuation of inter in inventories requires careful assessment then only we will know the exact value of national income so there are many difficulties in measuring the national income but still our central statistical organization faces all the value all the problems but they measure national income every year in our country thank you